Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's July 4, 2021. It's a Sunday. I have not gone out of my house yet. Just a lazy Sunday. But I do plan to go out uh, a little bit later. Uh, we're going to go to Olive Gardens. Uh, my sister, myself, uh, and just, you know, get something to eat. We haven't been there uh, really since the pandemic. Uh, we have done takeout from uh olive gardens but we haven't actually gone there to sit down and and eat and we're gonna do that uh today a little bit later on for dinner all right so we got two champions in the arena the basic is colossus the featured is black widow clairvoyant now i have not yet gone for a six star champion depending on what colossus goes for i might be tempted to go for him uh he would also even up my arena teams and if you have not seen my july 4 opening go check it out it's on the channel but i currently need one more champion one six star champion and then i'll have even arena teams for my six stars so i might go for him uh he's a good champion he would be a welcome addition to my six star roster uh but as you can see here no grinding on this Sunday. Now, if the uh, T1 Alpha Arena had hit, then I would do that one. Other than that, I'm not touching these arenas. I'm taking a nice little break. All right, so we're going to find out how I did. I just went for the shards, uh, 1% to 5% in both of the arenas. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so yeah, we got uh, 1% to 5%. Let's start with the Summoner Trials, which I did get all the milestones done there. So let's check a look. And the Summoner Trials uh, arena currently has an issue. And you can see that issue right here. Now, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I do not know. That is for Kabam to research and check out. But just look at this. It doesn't look good. Okay? That much I can say. It does not look good. But this is the arena where you would expect to see a lot of grinding, uh, a lot of bots, a lot of farming of units because it has the most units uh, that you can get. All right. Um, and it is a little bit of a grind. Now, see, we know he, well, I can't say I know for sure, but I've seen him in other arenas um, at least. And it doesn't look as bad as all of this. Just look, look at this. I'm not going to recognize anybody's name in here. Even if I did, I wouldn't shout them out because it just looks bad. Sorry. You know, if any of you guys, you know, you're legit, you know, some of you, I'm pretty sure you are legit, but man, that just looks bad. Um, but anyway, um, it's, it's surprising to me that they would put in this much to get on the leaderboards. Why not just do what I did and go for the milestones, get your units, and be done? You would never make the leaderboards. It wouldn't look like this. You wouldn't have people saying, hey, Kabam, you need to look at this. Look at look at these guys in this arena. You'd stay under the radar, but okay. Oh, and um, I found out some really, really sad news. Uh, just this, uh, you know, um, what was it, Friday? Friday or, or Saturday, that uh, Dark Side Network, uh, if you guys know who that is, he passed away. He had been battling cancer for years. And I, I talked to him, the last time I spoke to him uh, was last year. And he was uh, inquiring whether I had a spot in my alliance, which was the last alliance I was in. And I gave him contact information and put him in touch with the right people. Um, he was always cool, you know, and we talked a little bit. That's how I knew um, that he had taken a turn for the worse. He had been battling cancer. It had taken a turn for the worse, but they were really hopeful uh, and they were going to fight it. He was taking treatment. Um, he was doing everything he could. And the chemo uh, drugs that they put in his system... Uh, from what I understand, 
it caused some of his undamaged organs to fail, like his kidneys. So he went off of that and he was in the process of, you know, coming to Atlanta here where I am uh, to go to their cancer center and he never made it. Um, but uh, we celebrate, you know, his life and um, shout out to his family, prayers to his family. I know it's a tough time. Um, I have been there. Um, so I understand. All right, let's, uh, start in this arena here. I didn't put up my normal 12 million. I just didn't feel like it, uh, took a really nice break. And as you can see, it was enough, uh, black gamer. Congratulations on that six star, uh, Colossus. Let me know what you put up, man. Uh, and this is really important because what he went for, uh, Ida Slim, congratulations, rank 19. What he went for will determine whether I go for him or not. He's not a champion that I absolutely need. He would be a nice addition. I would love to have him as a six star. Um, but I also don't necessarily want to do that grind. Um, but if he went low enough that I might, you know, be able to get him without doing too much, then I might. Uh, months behind, congratulations. With all these units, I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted. Mac, congratulations. Rank 50. Nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to just go ahead and uh, do what I can, refresh, you know, do whatever. Uh, cause this is the time, this is when I would go for a new six star champion because the featured, I don't want either of them. Cause I already have them. I have black widow as a six star rank three. And I also have as a five star rank five. So there's no reason both of them are awakened. Uh, you know, one dupe on the six star and I don't know how many dupes on the five star. Uh, so no reason for me to grind in that arena other than units. So uh, I don't know whether I'm going to go for him or not, but I will be watching the comments to see uh, what people were putting up. I'll also be monitoring, of course, uh, my line groups to see uh, if anyone knows, uh, you know, has the cutoff. Uh, sometimes people post screenshots and we know what the cutoff is that way. All right, so that's the top 100. Those are the only ones that got the six star Colossus. And all in one just missed the six star Colossus. It has to be thankful for the five star, which he may not have had and was okay with it, but I have a feeling he's not, not at 101. All right, let's see, uh, M. Sruje, congratulations on your five star, but I have a feeling you were going for that six star. So I'm sorry that you missed that six star by just four spots. That is rough, my friend. All right, uh, let's see what else we got. See if we recognize anyone else here. And if all of you that missed him this first round uh, let me know in the comments, did you grind as hard as you could, or did you just do a casual grind? Are you going to go for him round two and, and do it seriously if you had done just a casual grind? Uh, let me know. Let me know. I'm very curious. Uh, but definitely tell me what score you put up, uh, especially you, Shrujay, because I want to know, uh, you know, as close to the cutoff as possible. And, and even though you're four spots from the cutoff, you're close enough. So, you know, we'd know that we need to put up more uh, than that. Tafri, shout out to Tafri. Uh, congratulations or condolences, man. I'm not sure which, but definitely let me know what, what scores you guys were putting up. And honestly, if it's too high, 
I, I'm just going to pass. I, I'll pull him, you know, at some time uh, out of the crystals one of these days. Uh, Infinity MJ. Hello, hello, my friend. Uh, let me see. I, now, I know Infinity MJ has the roster to get the six star. So either he didn't have enough time or he was just going for the five star, uh, maybe to dupe his five star. All right. Uh, but let me know in the comments in case I'm wrong. All right. So that's the top 200, 201 to 500. Also get the five star champion. Let's move on. Now, Black Widow Clairvoyant. Black Widow Clairvoyant is a champion that a lot of people, if you didn't have her, you want her. Okay. Um, let's just keep on going. We're going to ignore that uh, name there and keep going. Now, if I didn't already have her, I would be tempted. This is a champion that's not new, but is considered by many to be one of the top mystic champions. Riven the Rock, congratulations on that new six star. Um, I don't know what the cutoffs are. I'm still getting used to this new structure. Um, it seems like uh, maybe 130 million for a new champion is a good score to go for, or higher, of course. But a featured older champion, maybe around 100, but then you have um, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and many people want her. She's definitely uh, hyped and lives up to the hype. I love her. She is definitely my, um, currently my favorite mystic, I would say. Now, Doom is also a really good champion. A lot of people feel he is top mystic. In my situation, I run suicides. He does not play well with suicides. So I don't tend to use him even as a five star. I don't have the six star yet. Uh, ben Riley, congratulations. Welcome to the six star Black Widow Club. And I wonder how many of you guys watch my war videos and see how often I use her in war and how useful she is. Let me know. Pika Pika, congratulations. All right, uh, let's see. Getting down to the end of the six stars. This is the end of the innocence. So, Oak, was it Oak Radior? You are the last one to get the six star Black Widow Clairvoyant. If you see this, your score is the cutoff, and a lot of people would love to know it. So if you have a screenshot, post it up around so people can see it, so we'll know. All right, and ooh, Pit J, I don't know you, but I feel for you. That's nowhere where nobody wanna be. Let's see what else we got. See if I recognize any names of folks that maybe just missed. Kind of sucks. So far, I have not missed any champions ever. But that is because I'm very, very careful when I go for a champion and I always go for overkill. Uh, it's very rare that I don't put up 15 to 20 million more than what they went for round one. Uh, obviously, if they are all the way up there, then I'm probably not going to get the 20, but I'll usually put up over 10 million more. If I feel like I can't put up over 10 million more than round one, and I also only go for the champions round two, but if I feel like I can't put up 10 over round one, then I may not go. I may not even bother. All right, we're getting down to the end here. And I didn't see anyone that I recognized. I apologize if your name is up here and I did not recognize you. Uh, I'm a little bit tired. My eyes are starting to glaze over. Uh, but that's going to do it. 201 to 500 got the five-star clairvoyant, just like the basic champion. 
if you are one of those, leave a comment. Let everyone know what these champions are going for. Uh, round one is more important because upon this, a lot of people make their decisions for rank two, uh, for uh, round two, like me. You know, if I see Colossus going for like 60 million for the um, uh, six star in the basic arena, I'm probably not going to go for him. Uh, just don't feel like putting in that kind of a grind. With my roster right now, that would be, I mean, it's going to be a grind like I normally would be putting in a grind. And I, I don't know if I want to do that, but we'll see. Um, after this nice break on Sunday, nice relaxing rest, I may decide to go ahead and go for him anyway. Uh, or I might decide to use some units, refresh, boost, and put up a quick score and be done there towards the end. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.